It's all the taxes. I mean, uh, the estate tax is certainly a big part of it. Uh, you know, uh, there's this uh, misconception, there's this lie, essentially, that, uh, you know, the estate tax affects small business people and small farmers, and it's not true. I mean, it only affects, what is it, the 0.1 or 0.01 percent of the population. No, the, so the issue is that the tax cut is for corporations and wealthy people, and it's not going to help poor people. It's not going to help middle class people. It's going to throw people off of health insurance. It's, it's bad in so many ways. If they eliminated the repeal of the estate tax part of it, or that just disappeared, because you guys are right. I mean, I think it was 4,700 tax filings that were, that were subject to the estate tax last year. I mean, it's it's the tick on the back of a fly, but it gets a lot right, it's, it, gets a lot of attention. If they eliminated that, would you still have your complaints? Oh, yes. Yeah, because it, it's about a payoff to wealthy people in this country, businesses, wealthy individuals who have been making huge political contributions to get people elected to reduce their taxes. Does our corporate and, tax code make us uncompetitive or not, in your opinion, in the rest of the world? Not at all. I, I think that uh, our taxes, you know, when you look at what kind of taxes our corporations actually pay, you know, I mean, there's loads of our corporations that don't pay any tax at all. Uh, you know, they've got, they've got enough loopholes and special, special exceptions written into the corporate tax laws as it is that they, they don't need any more tax cuts. So well, plus what should all the corporate tax rate be, do you think? I think it's fine where it is. You know, I think what people don't understand is that businesses really benefit from all the investments that we make in infrastructure, in our society. Uh, business benefits from a healthy society. It doesn't do any good to have a society where we have a bigger discrepancy between uh, wealthy people and poor people. I mean, we've already got a huge issue with that as it is. So I think that's the, mm -hmm. that's the major issue, is that this tax scam that's being put out now is just an excuse to give more money to already wealthy people. And we already have the biggest spread between rich and poor in the entire developed uh, world. So why not so, just be against what is on the table in terms of proposed tax cuts? Why go out there and actually say you want a tax hike and that taxes on the rich should be higher? Why don't you just keep taxes where they are and write a check to whatever charity or the U.S. government if you wanted? Well, I think, I think we do both. Certainly, uh, we and, and the hundreds of other people who sign this letter are doing what we can. But... It, it, it's a drop in the bucket unless we do it for everybody, for all the wealthy people in the country. So it's not just individuals doing it, but it becomes structural so that our society can fund what we need. I mean, we have people without health insurance. We have people on Medicaid. We have people on Medicare. We have people in poverty in the richest country in the world, and we're looking at giving a huge tax cut to wealthy people and corporations. It just makes no sense. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.